every piece of data stored on a computer is stored in a number of bytes, and each of them is eight bits. But many different use cases require data to be in a text format, like sending email or displaying HTML. So whatever data type it is, images, video, a Python dictionary, when you save them, they're going to be saved as bytes. And to use them in these applications which require them in text format, you need to encode them from bytes into text. You need to do a byte to text encoding. And one common way to do that is called base64 encoding. The most common use of base64 encoding is to represent images as strings so they can be stored in text assets like HTML. So for example, if you go to Google Images and you take a look at how these images are stored on this web page in the source code, you can see the source of the image tag is a data colon image JPEG slash base64. And then it's got this long string after. If you click in that and then hover over, you can see a bit of a preview of what the base64 encoding looks like. I'm not sure how to get the browser to show all of it, but it's a long string of very readable characters, normal characters. To be specific, base64 encoding is made up of all of these characters. So now we can start to get an idea of why it's called base64 encoding. It's because it's represented by 64 different characters, all of the uppercase alphabet, all of the lowercase alphabet, all the integers, plus and slash. It's these ones because they can be found in almost all character sets. And it's 64 because that's a nice power of two. So that's the 64 in base 64 encoding. And the base refers to the fact that this is going to be used to represent the binary bits of data. So you can see here next to each character, you've got the equivalent in binary. And so now instead of writing down this, we can just store a single character. And so in the same way that binary can represent different numbers, so can base 64 encoding. It means that you can count up to 64 with a single character because you've got 64 different characters to work with. Whereas in binary data, you can only count up to two with a single character because you've only got two characters, zero and one to work with. And so what this means is that in base 64, four characters can store three bytes of data. So that's because a byte is eight bits. Three of them would give you 24 bits and two to the power of 24 is 16,777,216, which is the same as 64 to the power of four. So that's why four characters in base 64 is the same as three bytes. So you can work with base 64 encoding in Python by using the base 64 library. So here, firstly, I've got an image and if I try and read it in, you can see all of the binary data represented in hexadecimal. But if we were to put this into HTML as well as some other forms, some of these characters might be interpreted strangely by a particular file type. So what we want to do is get them into a very safe format like base64, which only consists of very normal characters, the alphanumerical characters plus and forward slash. So I've already got the byte data. So what I can do is I can use base64 to encode my bytes as text. So I actually used the wrong method there. I need to use B64 encode. And so now I've printed the data and the type, and now it looks like this. So that's what a typical base64 encoding looks like. That's my image there. That's image data in a base64 encoding. And the type that's been returned by that function is still bytes. But what I could do to get it in string format is I could, of course, just cast it into a string. And then I could go the other way as well by doing a B64 decode to decode from string into byte data. So I've gone from bytes into a base64 encoding and then back into bytes. So I'll be able to save this on my machine and then view the exact same image as I had stored before. So if I wanted to get my data back into a file, here's what I'd do. I'll firstly try that. And then I get this error that says, argument must be string, not bytes. So what I need to do is I need to specify the mode which I want to write this file in, which is write mode, but then I need the B for binary. So it's expecting bytes when it writes into it. If I run that, things work. But then if I open the file, I get this error. It says an error occurred while loading the image. So 
something's gone wrong. I've corrupted that byte data when I've loaded it back in. So probably what's happened there is that I've turned this decoded B64 data into a string. And that's probably manipulated it somehow, put it in string format, which when I've then decoded it again, it's actually something slightly different now. It's a string format. It's not just the characters which represented the B64 encoding. So if I take off that string cast there, then things seem to work. And if I open up that file, then I've reconstructed the exact image that I had before. But in your case, you might not have started with the bytes. You might have started with the string. So what your data might look like is like this. So that's the string of the base64 encoding. And I've just done a dot decode into a UTF format, which is just a standard encoding for strings. And so if I wanted to get this back into the file, then I'll just do the opposite before I B64 encode it again. And so I do dot encode here into UTF A format. So that's gonna turn the string data back into bytes and then it's gonna be decoded from that base64 string into the bytes again. And so if I run that, everything works. And that is base64 encoding.